mistake. I'm sorry. So when I first blew the whistle on the economy collapsing, I had three things that were turbulent in my mind. The first thing was, obviously, I knew that in September of 2019, the interbank lending credit markets collapsed. So I knew that something on the top level collapsed in 2019. Number two, I took Richard Nixon's date of when he severed the gold window, when he announced that we were going off the gold standard in 1971. That was an anchor date to me. And then three, the third thing was when the 2008 crisis hit, I, from many years of research that I've done, I understood that in 05, 06, 07, if you knew what to look for, you knew that the housing, that housing was in a bubble and it was crashing. So that's why I didn't take 2008 as a Shemitah year. Does that make sense? Like a seven year cycle? I thought it was 06, 07. And then the 50th year was 50 years after Nixon told us we were going off the gold standard. So that's how, that's where I based the 50 year cycle when I thought for sure before 2022. I, I, I publicly told many people that I thought we would see hyperinflation before 2022, even though we we did see it in lumber, we saw it in other commodities, we saw it. I wasn't totally wrong, but I'm sorry. I was a year off. The Shemitah cycles didn't start in 71, they started in 73. And every seven years, since 73, because that's when our currency changed, you see. And seven, every seven years after that, we saw a boom and bust either stocks, bonds, real estate, or oil. And again, it's hindsight is hindsight is 2020. You know, I see everything clearly looking back. But again, the craziness of the pandemic, the lockdowns, how Canada and Australia reacted again. They're, they're, by the way, those two countries are a lot more directly controlled by the British than America is. America is very indirectly controlled, but it's still controlled by the British. As I mentioned before, the Esquire class was one rank yeah, below a knight and one rank above a gentleman. And an Esquire is what you become when you pass the bar, the British accredited registry, to become a lawyer, to practice law. So the Esquires rule this country legally and again the Federal Reserve is, is the child of the Bank of England um, it's very difficult Like we, you, these are not public people we don't know who the private owners are but it, it is a private bank and I believe that whoever owns it is mostly British um, and again we talked about in the previous video the com commodities futures markets so yeah um, you know there, there's so many financial analysts you know people with hundreds of thousands of subscribers who because they made a call in 2004 2005 talking about the crash that was coming you know they were three four years off but then after they were vindicated they became superstars I'm only a year off and I wasn't totally wrong. I just went off of Richard Nixon's bad data. Um, I didn't take the time to calculate what happened every seven years since 73, even though in 2015, I should have known what happened, especially because I was living and working in the oil field in 2013 and 2014, and when oil field crashed that should have been a signal for me basically I, but again whatever hindsight is 2020 I made a mistake and um, whatever you know it's it's crazy like people like Jim Cramer who make many mistakes daily they're lying lying to the people for a living 
They're still praised by the media. Medea, the Greek goddess of illusions. And yeah, I'm here beating myself up because I blew the whistle 12 months too early. Oops. Um, yeah. So yeah, keep stacking and uh, remember the British are not our friends. And um, yeah, we're in the 50th year. So all debts are supposed to be washed away. And what does that mean? All these debt currencies are probably gonna crash. Again, we're seeing it around the world right now. The dollar is the, it looks optically strong. Remember, remember we talked about optics, how uh, when, you know, the people who have mad dad syndrome, they know all about optics because, you know, that's, they live, they live and breathe that, you know, it's not really about what's happening, it's what people perceive is happening. I'm not interested in the perception or the illusion of what's happening. I'm always interested in what's really happening. There's the official story and then there's the real story. You'll always get the real story from me, so... You know, I, I truly, I'm going to try my best with my limited information, with my strong intuition, and uh, just connecting the dots like I always do. I'll try to bring the best information for, for, forward as I can. Yeah, yeah it's going to be interesting. Things are going to unfold quick. Again, 2022, I believe before this calendar year we're going to see the everything bubble crash. You're going to see it, in my opinion, in stocks, bonds, real estate, and oil. The four pillars of wealth in this country. Um, yeah. Uh.